Okay, um, today I'm going to do a tutorial on um, TrueCrypt. TrueCrypt is a on-the-fly encryption software, and I will put a link down below to um, download it. So let's open it up, and this is what you get. Um, just a GUI with mount, auto mount, dismount all, exit, select file, blah blah blah. So I have a 8 gig Danelectric flash drive that I'm going to show you how to create a volume on. And this also applies for any drives like um, system disks. You can actually in encrypt your entire system, but I'm not going to do that right now because it requires you to format. So what you're going to do is you want to plug your drive in, which I have already done, and then hit create volume. And then you'll get this. And you have the options of making a create an uh, encrypted file container, which is like a f which is um, a file which puts kind of which it puts your files in a file that's encrypted and it's confusing, or um, encrypt a non-system partition drive, which is encrypts a non-system partition drive on any internal or external drive. Example of flash drive optionally creates a hidden volume or encrypt this entire system partition. So what I'm going to do, do right now is um, the just an easy tip or an easy um, thing right now is the create a encrypted file container. Look at my RAM; it's going like wee. That's funny. Next, um, hidden TrueCrypt um, volume or standard TrueCrypt volume. You can make it hidden if um, like you were forced to reveal the password on an encrypted volume. Then they go to plug it into the computer to decrypt it and they can't find the thing to decrypt so that's a good safety measure but I'm just gonna do that's for if you have like really important documents I'm just gonna do the standard trucrypt volume next volume location select a file what you're gonna wanna do is navigate to your flash drive actually cancel I'm going to delete that. Yes. You want to make sure there's nothing on your um, flash drive. So file. Navigate to your drive. Type whatever thing you want. I'm just going to put TrueCrypt. Then hit save. Never saved history, that's a good idea. Next, encryption algorithm, or however you pronounce it. You can either do AES Serpent 2Fish, or AES 2Fish, or AES 2Fish Serpent, or Serpent AES, Serpent 2Fish AES, or 2Fish Serpent. These are just it's the separate um, algorithms, al uh, tongue twister, the things. This one first encrypts it in AES and then encrypts the encrypted information in TwoFish. And this one encrypts it um, in AES, then encrypts it in TwoFish, then encrypts it in Serpent. So it's really, really, really secure. I'm going to do AES TwoFish Serpent because that's my personal favorite. Um, hash algorithm. Um, you can do 160-bit, 512-bit, uh, or Whirlpool. I'm just going to go 160-bit. Next. Drive. Free space on drive is 7.4. So, so just enter the volume size and use the entire drive. So, or wait, I'll put... Um, I'll just put 7 gigs. Next, error files larger than blah 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 can be stored in file 32. Pause. Okay, that's interesting. I have to format this. No, computer properties. 
wait, what the hell am I doing? Format. Yeah, I forgot to do this. You're supposed to do NTFS. Start. Okay. It should complete in this in like a second or two. From my complete. Okay. Close. Seven. Next. <laughs> there we go. Um, a password. A good password should have upper and lower case letters, symbols, and should it be at least ten characters long, at least. So. That's mine. Now I've got capital letters and numbers. You can either use key files too, which I'd rather use a password than a key file because key files can be stolen. Next, large files. Do you intend to store larger files larger than four gigabytes on the street get volume? No, you can if you want. I'm just gonna hit no. Next. Um, this, what you're wanting going to do here, NTFS, is move the um, mouse as randomly as possible just to um, collect random data, and that will um, give significant um, increase in the cryptographic strength of the encryption keys. So the longer that you move it, the better. So that should be good. Cluster, you can do it. And clusters too. They can be dynamic. Format. That's going to do is now formatting the hard drive. I'll come back when this is done. Okay, we're back. Um, it's been successfully created. The TrueCrypt volume has formatted and been successfully created, so just hit OK. And then if you wish to create another TrueCrypt volume, you can hit Next, or as I'm going to do, just hit Exit. Now to um, mount a TrueCrypt volume, what you're going to want to do just click mount. Oh wait. Um, you want to actually click select file. Navigate to your drive, and there's our volume right there. Click open, and then select the drive number that you're going to want to do. I'm going to just hit H, and then do mount. Put in your password. You're going to see here that you have um, cache passwords and key files in memory. Display password or use key files. You don't have to. Key files that will let you navigate to your key file. And mount options. You can mount the volume as read only. Mount the volume as removable medium. Um, you can click that for a flash drive or something. Protect hidden volume against damage caused by writing to outer volume. You can click that, but I'm not going to hit OK. OK and it's mounted. Now to navigate to it you can either double click on there or just click on your um, my documents or libraries and as you're going to see it, before it was only local disk recovery CD drive and then flash drive now we have another one called local disk flash drive you don't want to write anything to this otherwise it will um, corrupt that volume so what you want to do is hit local disk and put all your stuff in here. So um, let me see my stuff. I'll just put the server guide into there. That's copied. And then exit. And then to dismount, you click that and hit dismount. And it's, I know it's not using anything right now, it's just a bug or something. Hit yes. And then now, as you can see, that thing disappeared. 
and you cannot access that file unless you decrypt that volume. So, and it automatically um, decrypts it too if you just yank the drive out. So, you also have the option of um, favorites out of mounted volume to favorites. So, right, mount. Yeah, that favorites, add mounting volume to favorites, and then what you can do is you can um, make it so it mounts it automatically um, when you start up your computer. I'm just gonna remove that. Um, settings, you have system encryption, performance, and preferences. You can um, just screw around in here if you have any questions, you can ask me. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty simple just to encrypt a flash drive. You can also encrypt. Um, CD drives, DVDs, um, I don't think you can encrypt iPods or cameras, but I'm not sure about that. Um, you can encrypt your system drive, but it's complicated, and I haven't totally figured that out yet, because I don't want to risk losing my data, because I have mission-critical stuff on this computer. So, yeah. Next, um, I will show you how to do um, this on a Linux computer. So. Thanks for watching. Okay, so here we are in Ubuntu 10.4, and I'm just uh, um, how to do the TrueCrypt for Linux. So you want to go to Applications, um, Accessories, and TrueCrypt. It is going to be a bit laggy because of GTX record my desktop. Um, Select your crypt. Wait for it to start up. It's basically the same thing as the Windows one, just a little bit different. Um, select, no, not select file. <laughs> Cancel. Um, create volume. Create an encrypted file container. Next, standard true crypt volume. Next. Select file. Navigate to your flash drive. There's nothing on it right now. Um, save. Um, next. Encryption alphagram. I'm just going to do AES right now just for um, the heck of it. Next. 400. That's weird. Okay. Um, 449 megabytes. Next. Password. Confirm. And yes, you can use key files in this one, but I don't recommend it. Next. File system, fat, next. Um, move the mouse again as randomly as possible just to um, uh, increase the strength of the encryption keys. Then hit format. This might take a bit. Um, or not. Thirty nine seconds. Jeez, faster than the other one. Guess it's because it's not as big. <laughs> I tried to make it small too, because this is a um, Pentium Four overclock to 3 gigahertz but it's still pretty slow for these kind of things like as you can see it's ramping my um, usage all the way up to a hundred percent this computer works though for what I want it to use to use it for I have a Pentium 4 server grade processor I forget what the part number is but it's um good for uh, rendering videos too, it doesn't take too long.
It takes maybe an hour to render a um, half an hour video, so take the time and double it. It's not bad. Done 100%. True Crypt volume has been successfully created. Okay. And then hit exit. And then to mount one of these, it's a tiny bit different. Um, I want to go and hit select file. Go to your flash drive. And then the True Crypt. Uh, it's 400. You can see it's 449 megabytes open. Mount. Oh, um, and also you'll notice that there's it's um, not letters. It's a uh, I can put five. It's um, what do you call it? Numbers. Mount. Put in your password. Hit OK. Enter your user password. This is your um, pseudo password. So like if you're gonna go do a uh, pseudo app get and it says your password, you need to put that in. So there's two passwords that you need to put in. Mount. Okay, it's mounted. Um, and then it's mounted at media true crypt five. So if we go to places computer it's right there let's open it and you can drag your files and blah 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 into it then to dismount dismount and it's